There is a visceral sense, right, when mm -hmm. someone walks into a room that works, one of yes. your rooms. They, they, can, they can feel it, you Th said, this but I'm they told, can't see it. This may sound um, uh, self-aggrandizing. Um, um, it is a compliment I hear often. I would not speak those words of myself, but my goal is to demure to the people. Um, the moment, the furnishing. So my interiors seem tend to be very sublime with purpose, and there are things you sort of feel that you can't actually see or articulate. But what I do here, and what is the highest compliment that I get from most of my clients, and often people who walk through the space, is is just it's magical. It has such a feeling to it. It is so engaging, and it has to do with all the subliminal play on the materials and things. And people generally think when they think of white paint and white rooms, they think perhaps of antiseptic um, environments that are sort of um, I don't know unwelcoming, um, sterile almost. And this um, is sort of the stark contrast. Um, returning to our conversation about what color is white in this setting. Um, white applied to brick is another color than it is otherwise to drywall. So here you see a lot of textural play. The, the floors are pre-Civil War. You know, each board was selected. The direction of the floor is as sublime as it may seem. They are highly purposeful. You'll see different intersections of board and that is all very purposeful. Um, things that, you know, people would perhaps say to me would never matter. And they're all sort of what give way to the final enveloping environment that you walk in. So you, know, you don't notice these things. You sort of feel them and sense them. If you were to study the room, you know, if I was to walk in the room and point things out, that would, not, that would be boring and unnecessary. You should feel the room when you walk in. I should not have to explain it mm -hmm. is the point. Mm -hmm.